that's not going to work because it's right behind my head. Let's keep that right up at the top there. That'll work. Can you guys see that? It should be big enough to see. Um, so, let's see if we can do this as quickly as possible. Starting from the Stable Master and going. So this one revolves around doing, but you basically go in a counterclockwise circle, getting the things you need as you go. So you start off with, where are we? Michael Delving. I'm gonna try to do this from memory too, so hopefully I can pull it off. I forgot to ask how long you were streaming. Um, probably till 2.30, once it finishes Shire Deeds, i okay, done. Sophie, we also got that movie we to watch. Yes! We got the Assassin's Creed movie, so we're gonna, Beck and I are gonna watch that today, it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. That's off in the dog. Oh. She's gotta like, she's laying down. I thought down. you were saying I was cute. You are cute. Oh, thanks. Mwah! But she's got, she's laying down, so like her little, her lip oh, her is Oh, her ear like, is like all, all her no, face her is all smashed. her lip is like, mm, Nice. Adorable. I can't do it with mine. My, my lips don't do that. Yeah, it doesn't look as cute on you as it does on her. Sorry. It's adorable. So, for this, you basically are you're doing the farms of the Shire. Um, you get the south farm, south fields here, and then you come over to Tuckborough. You grab the Tuckborough tree. I don't think there's anything on the way there. Um, probably double check that really quickly. Here to the Great Willow. It's a straight shot. Oops. Yeah, Farms of the Shire. We'll snag all those. <sighs> it's probably might be faster to go around, but it's more fun going over Tuckborough because it's fun. And you're riding on people's roofs and they don't seem to mind. Or if they do, I'm long gone by the time they complain, so ha. Great Willow, ding. Sights of the Shire, same thing. And we're going with Nag up here. Methyl stage is next, which is right over this hill. And we should snag that in five or six seconds. Bam, methyl stage. All right. Now we're off this way. So. Till now, we haven't had to use the doubler, but we will in a second here. Because you want to get brigands and hill flies both on this. So we're going to get brigands here and up into here and flies. Oh, boo. Not conducive to a speedrun era. Where is this one? And let's start. Okay. Go around, sometimes guy back here, and he's right here. Shoot him in the back, because that's the honorable thing to do. Gonna build up more focus. I really wanna be level whatever for this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pop one of these things. I'm not doing any quests, but... So I'm not doing any quests, which means I probably kinda wasted it, but hopefully this gets me to 16 quickly enough that I don't need to worry about waiting for strength stance or whatever. See, normally when you one-shot something, the thing you're next to them doesn't notice. Like that guy, he didn't notice. But, not always, apparently. So, deed bestowed. Let's add this to the tracker so we can see we're at 20 out of 30. <laughs> for the initial one, which ain't bad at all. Oh, I don't want to shoot the fox. It's a waste of an arrow. Grab the horse, and off we go. <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> Up to their camp thing. Gonna run through that. Now, the thing about the brigands is that there's enough that you can go one or two times through this camp and get all of them. The flies 
are a little more spread out. So what I like to do is actually, while I wait for these guys to respawn, instead of going through or waiting at all, I'll run get the flies once and then come back from the flies and go back here again and then back to the flies and by then the flies have respawned so you don't really need to run around quite as much for either one. He's far enough away I can use my swift bow. Pew. Yeah. Alright. Brigand Slayer advanced. Add to the tracker. Let's get rid of both of these. Five more points. Have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Yeah. So imagine if you could just do this without. Well, I feel like once you get to sixteen, Hunter's definitely going to be the uh, the deeding king because literally one shot. Not even like Minstrel where it one shots until you get a little higher and then it starts to be a two shot. Like, no, this is just a straight, yeah, that's a one shot. But having to do this continually is a little annoying. But could be worse. Okay, 32 out of 60. Kill the brigand boss here. Not gonna waste that on him. Boom, done. Because I want to be able to shoot this guy, this guy, this guy. So, yeah, pretty sweet. Hunters, y'all. Uh. Okay. Brigands in here, worth getting. Yes. And again, because you usually don't aggro things when you one-shot, you can stand here and just kill the brigands. And then you're done. So yeah, we won't need to go through any lengths at all to get this deed done. Just gonna get it done one run through here, which is sweet. Trundle, 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 trundle. I'm gonna get my focus up now before I need it. And we're off. Question. Do you retain your focus after you get off a steed? We will find out. No, you do not. That sucks. Pew. Need like three more. Yeah, two more now. So hopefully these guys have respawned. If not, definitely going to just wait because I needed more. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Hello? I need one more brigand. Come on, guys. Work with me here. There we go. Oh, really? Okay, Brigand Slayer Advance done. Eight minutes in. Bing, bing. <sighs> okay, so now we got to get uh, a couple things. We're going to snag Bam for long from the back here. I'm going to go up the hill. Actually, we're going to do the hill first. And then Bam for long and then back while we wait. <laughs> if we need to for respawn purposes. So I'll just come around this side of the hill because there's still some some flies over here. Do 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 bing. Um, also worth killing things that aren't um, the flies because they share spawns, which is kind of annoying sometimes. Or sometimes they share spawns, which is kind of annoying all the times. Let me rephrase this correctly here. Oh man. So it looks like everything's pretty much gone already. So this place is the place for harvest flies. Get off of me. 
Oh, come on. Pew. 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 Completed. Harvest Fly Slayer. Do you bestowed? Add the tracker. You have to use Eldabot. Oh. Well, Eldabot's not too bad. Could be worse. Does change. Oh, that's good. That's a nice plus. So the cool thing about this hill being the spawn is that they're very easy to find here. Downside of it is that like everywhere else they're more spread out to make up for it almost, it seems like. So that's that. Whoops, didn't mean to pull that up. Dang it. Have I not been updating this? Son of a biscuit. Respecialize. Spec one. Definitely want that in there. What is this? Duh. Because that'll make this go faster. It's not like I need any extra damage on Barrage because it's kind of one shot anyways. Um, but it'll make my swift bow a little bit quicker. So I'm going to get Festival Grounds. I'm going to get... Um, the stock tower, and then I'm going to come back to the hill, and hopefully by then, they will have respawned. Bam for long! Bam for long! <laughs> 11 minutes. we got 21 minutes left. I think we could do this. So far, so good. So, this is if you're like, oh no, you can't, you can't do all the deeds in the Shire in half an hour. Actually, the ones you the one you really can't do. I mean, you can't do the posts. You can't do the the pies in half an hour because that's that's too much to ask. Um, and the slugs, it all depends. It all depends on how lucky you are on a given day with the spawns. Um, Carve and I went through once, and just one run straight straight through the swamp. They were all they were all slugs. Every spawn was a slug, which was great, and we got the deed done super fast. Um, but most times that doesn't happen and you have to like really work at it so yeah usually you don't get that lucky no oh, it's so much faster yeah that was that was a good day <laughs> okay let's see these should be close to respawn <laughs> Maybe not. Not gonna waste time sitting around. I'm gonna pop into the field and see what I can find. Harvest fly. Harvest fly. Harvest fly. Getting close to level 16, which will be glorious. Um, well, it's not a harvest fly, but it's a wolf, and I'll take it. Wolf Slayer Deed. I'm not worrying about yet. I don't see any. Oh, there's a harvest fly. Pew! You can take these fields all the way down there to the road, but that's more running than I want to do when I'm concerned about speed. Giddy up! Yeah, that was a fun day. I think didn't we get like a get up early on a Saturday and just run the, through those? I seem to remember that being what the thing was. Why is Barrage lit up? Oh, duh. I'm looking up there for my thing, and it's down here. So I probably do have focus left over after mounting. Okay, Harvest Flies look like they're respawning on the hill, which is good. I'll grab this in no time. Maybe I can get onto the hill. Pew, pew, pew. Completed. Harvest Fly Slayer Deed advanced. All right, off we go. Got 20 LP for reading the book. Yeah, that book. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the fastest 20 p 20 TP you'll ever make. LP. Ah, gosh. Now comes the most important part of this entire entire deed run. I cannot possibly emphasize enough how important this one is. 
Um, spiders, wolves, goblins, sorry, it's coming. Add the wolves on. Um, I've noticed a direct correlation um, between my success um, with this particular thing and how well I do over the entire run. Um, so I think, people might disagree, but I think that this may be the single most important part of a successful Shire Deed run, and that is um, getting on top and making it across the river without falling off of this. Boop. Giddy up. Alright, so, it looks easy, right? But it's actually kind of difficult, sometimes. Dr. Gamer Girl, what's up? You're back, so am I. Wow, this Swipo is so much faster once I put skill points into it. Weird, right? Man, I gotta get to level 17. 16. 632 XP away, that's not bad. How much are these? 32? Uh, 32 divided by 632. <laughs> Quick, somebody math. Oh, that was a waste of a... that. Oops. Use leafy feet. Oh my gosh! That's so true. Derp. Man, you can tell it's been a little while. Don't math, sorry. So, I used to deed here, like for my wolves. Um, I used to deed for them in that wolf den thing. Back where you have... Um, what's your faces farms but I was like holy crap I came across here and I am never going back to the other place for for deeding moles because this is just so so much easier <laughs> lady gun it's fine don't worry about it Ben there can identify well not the, being the homeschooling mom but like I teach in a high school, and kids are like, what's this? And I'm like, I pay, I teach English. I don't teach math. Figure it out yourself. You have an internet search machine combination calculator in front of you. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. All right. Level 17 now, y'all. Get that precision stance. Boop. Never going back. This is a little bit easier for longer um, things. You still have to focus, but not quite as often. Bam. Oh no. A big warg. Whatever shall we do? Dude! Sorry. We just shot down between our feet. Like, jumped off the thing and shot the air. And it was awesome looking. It was probably awesomer in my brain than it was in real life. But it was pretty awesome in my brain. Not gonna lie. Okay. Death comes from above. Exactly. Okay, so this place is nice and cleared out. No more wolf pests here, and I only need one more wolf. So, score. I'm gonna find that wolf right here. Pew. Yeah! Alright. So, that deed is done. This ends up being... I mean, we can look it up, but it ends up being a teeny bit over 100 low trip points, I want to say. Let me pull this up while we ride. History. History. <laughs> um, it's 207, 19 minutes, so like 10 minutes from 50-ish on. What did I start with? Last one is 5.
114. I don't know. It's about 100. Somebody else can figure that out. I think it's 100. Uh, I think it's 100 Lotro points for the entire zone. Or at least the, the deeds we're doing. We can figure it out, though. Five, fifteen, twenty. All, I'll do that after. It's going to be easier just to count it all up. Um, spiders next. Goblins, crafting NPC. No, the thing is, you can do this. Doing the run between Arid Luin from start to finish. Arid Luin and the Shire can take under two hours on a character, and they can get you close to three hundred XP or three hundred LP. Why not, right? Okay, ba da ba da ba. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing stopping you. At least, like the. This run between the Shire and um, between the Shire and Arid Luin seems to be the fastest way to do it. Um, are there other ways? Yeah. Would you be probably better served doing it on a character you already have? Quite possibly, yes. Um, but making a character, well, if you count the making a character time. Um, add another half hour onto the time. Um, I'm just gonna wait. There we go. Boink. Um, add another half hour onto the time to run it through the intros. If you want to make a dwarf, you're already in Arid Luin, um, where you need to be, pretty much. Or same thing if you want to make like an elf. Um, I honestly, if I remember right, the human. Slash Hobbit starter is a little faster, but the nice thing about um, being a dwarf is you also get enmity of the Dower Hands for a little bit of extra XP or for a little bit of extra LP along the way, which is kind of a nice looking bonus. Um, that being said, the Hobbits get enmity of the spiders. Is that humans or hobbits? One of them gets enmity of spiders, um, so that I mean it balances out whether you're getting spiders or Dower Hands. You're getting the extra LP from one of the two. It works out. Hobbits or wolves? Okay. Which one's spiders? One of them's spiders. It might be humans or spiders. Which is hilarious. Completed Spider Slayer advanced. Poke. And we're done. Maybe Bjorning for Spider? I don't know. I don't know. And off we go. One nice thing about Precision Stance is. Oh, well, every five seconds, yeah. Um, it would be really cool, if it doesn't happen, rather, is that you don't get it while riding. Because that'd be awesome. So we're going to go off to... Where is it? Uh, so of the Shires, we need slugs and go goblins is easy. Um, we need the party tree, door brown locks, and apple doors. Um, we've got eight minutes left, so we're gonna hit the goblins pretty dang easily. And this is actually one of my favorite places to go if you want to level um, just through deeding. You can go in here and level absurdly quickly. I mean, you use spiders as hobbits. I don't know. I know enmity of the dower hands is is this guy. So that was a. Well, I mean the dower hands and goblins both. So, 
That was why I did that, because in Erluin you have dwar dwarves and, and goblins. Both, which is handy. I think there's advanced ones that unlock later on too, but it's an extra 10, which is nice. I think I'm going to the right spot, right? Yeah, I'm going to the right spot. Oh, go away, bear. Bye bye. New deed, Goblin Slayer. Add to the tracker. Um, na, 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 na. One, two, three. And focus up. Would dense mob, like mob density like this, you still have to do it? Which is kind of a bummer. But. A little bit quicker, anyways. Boop. Come on. Ping. Ping. Goblin Slayer completed. Goblin Slayer advanced. Okay. Ding. Bam. 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 Yeah. This is crazy, you guys. So you can realistically do a uh, swift bow and get an extra one out of this. Because swift bow will one shot. And then you can one shot with whatever happens, and you'll probably get one focus between the time the two take. So that's kind of handy. Good to know. So you got the one focus, that gives you the three focus, so you can one shot the next thing on the list. And then you back to uh, back to gathering focus. That's cool. I like I like the rhythm of it. The rhythm of the music. Boom, 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 boom. Whoops, cancelled it. Didn't mean to. My bad. Focus, 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 focus before he gets close. Alright, well he got close, but it's alright. Pew. Pew. And swipo and pew. Done. 54 out of 60, I'll probably get the last ones on the way out, and then we're off the door of brown locks. Can we do it within the next two minutes? Probably not. Worth trying. Well, we still got the four minutes. We got the five minutes left, so that's why it's crucial to not start the deed accelerator before the time allotted, because you might run out if you get unlucky. I wanna take you away. Wait. Two more goblins. Oh, did I come back too soon? Are they not yet respawned? Bummer. All right, back we go. It's all right. Although that did probably kill any hopes of under half an hour. Oh, yeah. And done. Okay. Boop. Yeah, and actually, if you're doing this just for the LP, it's helpful if you're EU to try like to do this on an American server and vice versa. As an American, if I was to sit down one evening, go to an EU server, like Cyranon, which is actually one of the ones I like doing this on, because um, it's a little lower population from what I've seen, going on Cyranon and uh, just making a character there, evening now, like it's 3 in the morning in the EU and you'll have no competition whatsoever. If you do this on like Brandywine, or Arkenstone, you're going to have some competition. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah, Carve, you're right. It does depend on you having competition. Also helps that I'm doing it at 2 in the afternoon, um, rather than at 7 p.m. 7 p.m., you will have competition. 2 in the afternoon, probably not. 
that being said, yay summer break. So we're not going to get to half an hour, but it's going to be probably within 32, 33 minutes. So can't complain too much. Um, but yeah, overall, you can say half an hour and have it be pretty dang close to how much time it'll take you. Um, again, this is excluding excluding uh, slugs. I've gotten two slugs before once, um, but that was an absurdly lucky day when it was just everything was dying really quickly. If you do this with with somebody else in a group, you can definitely um, definitely get the slugs. And I don't know if Hunter is going to be faster than Minstrel. Minstrel, I think, is still a little faster for this because you don't have to gather focus. Um, you can running in melody. Minstrel can just tag, 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 run into the middle of a bunch of things, and the coda, AOE coda, will kill everything. Um, AOE coda one shots at this level. Um, so I think Minstrel's probably still a little faster for this by maybe three or four minutes. Overall, not too significant. But yeah, you can totally still do it. Um, on whichever you please. So we've got to get to, I believe, door brown locks. The party tree door brown locks, uh, and that's it, I want to say. Sites of the Shire are done. Oh, farms of the Shire, you need apple doors, but that's right here. Apple doors. Done. Dora Brown Lock is next, and she's right over the right over the water here. Um, if you have the time, if you have like a one hour tome, if you still got time on yours, you can go up and start killing slugs. Um, but if you want pure speed, because the slugs are really RNG dependent on whether you have a bunch of slugs or whether you got a bunch of other stuff. Um, but if you want purely like efficiency without relying as much on that, this is the way to go. Zzz. Yeah. And done. 32 minutes. So, not bad, not bad. Um, how much is this? I'm curious now. Because I never actually... Slay the Shire, yeah. You don't get the slugs, but these... It's fine. 